Okay, I'm gonna talk about NX Solar now. So this is a, a project that has been ongoing for around 10 months, a little bit less than a year. And what we are trying to do is create a security token which will uh, tokenize a real-life asset, in this case, a solar power plant. And how we propose to do that is that we are going to uh, hire companies to retrofit uh, panels to existing buildings. And then the company that is going to be NX Solar, uh, the ownership of the company will be tokenized and, uh, and distributed for anybody who wants to participate. So how we uh, plan to um, uh, do this is uh, try to create an incentive model for the owners of those tokens to um, incentivize them to participate also in the decision making to gain bigger um, passive income through dividends that will be paid according to profits that are generated by this en energy company. And the functionality how we imagine that it's going to work is that once, once uh, we, we kick for each project there will be a separate mini ICO which will only be uh, funded uh, until the project can be built, so there will be a project calculation and the money will be raised until uh, the cap is reached, after which the project will get built and then we move on to the next one. And then there's a, a concept that we're working on uh, that's called spark, sparking up, which is a marketing term for staking your tokens. So then you would lock up your tokens in the platform to gain uh, voting rights, then you, can, you, get to take uh, you get to participate on what's going to be the next project from the pipeline and, and maybe some uh, other admi administration things like uh, um, maybe the rewards for developers and founders uh, if, if the milestones are reached or not and then uh, involve the people that way. And uh, uh, in exchange they would get elevated uh, divend dividends uh, percentage because then they will lo lock up those tokens, decreasing their liquidity, and then uh, also be bringing more value to the network. And how it differs from most tokens is that each to uh, the tokens are proportional to the network size that produces electricity. So it's, all, it's backed by um, real-life assets, which is uh, most tokens are not. This is how, how the system works, roughly. So uh, investors, want, want, first of all, there needs to be a need. Okay? We need uh, more power. Uh, it seems obvious to me that in the future, the power system we have currently is not going to scale super well. So we're going to need a lot of alternative and, and mu as sustainable as possible energy forms. So there should be a need, and, and I think there will be a growing need for communities and individuals and companies to generate their own electricity, to detach them from the, uh, themselves from the grid. And this is a way for them to crowdfund their projects. So let's say that uh, um, you guys have a small village, but you don't have quite as much money as you would like to actually build the product yourself. You can then uh, have use NX to kick up an ICO, a crowdfunding for your project, fund as much as you can by yourself and, and gain tokens for it, and then uh, get other people to fund the rest. And that, that could provide a valuable way for like remote locations where the infrastructure is not good, the, the power grid might be unstable to actually take control of their um, or energy product production and as well uh, to create uh, some passive income. So how it, it will work is that once the project is built and uh, well the pipeline will be filled by pre-approved projects that um, the team NX will, will scout then and, and then make sure that each, and these, each of these projects that we will be voted from will be viable and, and profitable. And once those projects are built and they start to generate profit, uh, there will be a treasury model which will be uh, basically a smart contract that would uh, handle all the profits and channel some of it back to uh, new projects and some of it will go to expenses and the rest will go to the investors, like 100%. And the, the, there wouldn't be any kind of like a founder's reward to speak of. And the, the whole team will get their payment in, in tokens, so they become actually also investors. So this kind of like a way to make it as decentralized as possible. But whenever you're, you're dealing with real life assets, there has to be a certain degree of centralization because somebody actually needs to go there and hire those companies to build those plants. So this is our, our governance model. Um, any questions about that? Um, also, after this, um, I'll be available, so if anybody wants to learn more, I'll, I'll be happy to go into detail. But to expedite the process here, maybe we move on.